Welcome back, adventurers. <laughs> you are in the middle of a fight for your lives Ugh. against banshees. After you left Hammerlane's office, you went out to the street of Elyrin. By night, you found a dead young woman that you'd met earlier. The seeds still in your pockets. Her memory. Her goal. To spread joy, life, knowledge about the Green Mother. And now her life cut short. Not life. Oh Just God. death. Yeah. <gasps> and her dead body is not far from you as the Banshee fight continues. Another one has arrived in your midst, cornering you in a dead end alley in the streets of Elyar. The two moons above you, the stars. She wails. There are two people close enough to hear this as it racks your mind. Make constitution saving throws. Alani, Seno. I hope so. 14. 14, you save. So you take psychic damage. Nine points of psychic damage. You had previously taken ten when you successfully survived. Five. Seto mm -hmm. drops. The barrels, they do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the barrels rest my head nicely when I fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good slump. Yeah. Shit. Seno! Seno. Drops. Also raising into the street. Uh-oh. Kaleva. Oh! Oh, for God's sake. Lady Crush. Oh my God. She runs toward you. That's as much movement as she can make as she joins the initiative order. And she's yelling out to you. We've taken everyone else around from the area away. And she looks over and sees Seno on the ground. You're all down the alley, kind of in a straight line <laughs> from her. And she yells out, help me save everyone. Help us kill the Banshee. <laughs> she dashed to get to you. That was her entire action. Aaron. Great. <laughs> it's your sister, I, I mean, sword Stop sister. out of it! Just, sorry, I just... I really wanted to see her in action. All right. She joined the initiative order. You're going to see her in action. Brilliant. Uh, well, I have to fucking turn around in this goddamn alley and... Don't embarrass yourself! Now I gotta run this way, so I'm going to move forward. Some feats. You are in the middle of the alley. Yeah. Where um, do you want to go? You have to go around Burrick. Yep, so I'll go 15 feet. That's 15. Burrick, be proud. Okay, I'll go 20. Okay, you go 20. And then that's about 30 between me and her. 35. Five more feet then. <laughs> uh, and then I am going to throw another javelin at this winch. Yeah. Get her. 18 plus 7. That's a hit. That's a lot. Brilliant. That's a lot of hit. D6, D8 for damage. You want to be 30 feet from her, right? Yes. Uh, 7 and 4. 11 points of damage. Is this a magical weapon? No. She takes less. Wait, I get a second attack. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And eight and a seven. The javelins fly through the air towards the Nine. floating, terrifying banshee. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to cast Compelled Duel on this bitch. What does that do? Uh, I attempt to a compel a creature into a duel. Uh, one creature that you can see within range must make wisdom saving throw. 
Uh, on a failed save, the creature is drawn to you, compelled by your divine demand. For the duration, it has disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you, and must make a wisdom saving throw each time it attempts to move to a space that is more than 30 feet away from you. If it succeeds on the saving throw, this spell doesn't restrict the target's uh, movement for that turn. And the saving throw DC? For me? Eh, eh, get up. 16. She does not succeed. Bitch! All right, so now if she goes for you, she can't. So she rolls at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Oh, Ellen Dar. Yes. Uh, how Alan, far, you're on deck. How far away is she from me? To 80. 80? Okay. Uh, once, once again, I'm going to assume a stance of step of the wind, and I just like n n Naruto run right for her. Uh, and uh, it costs double if you go through their space okay. or you go around them. Um, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go through them. How far can you go? 90. You can make it right up to the bench. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I am going to uh, attack her. Oh! <laughs> you don't Listen to the joke. What's going on? <laughs> Seno's unconscious body says now would be a good time. Uh, yeah, he sure does. Uh, where was the last banshee I attacked? Got it. That's where my spear is. So I'm gonna. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna reach for my spear. I'm like. And uh, 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 if anyone sees that, I'm like, I meant to do. And then oh, the I just. I just threw at her, out of her. Is there a javelin sticking out of her? There's two the javelins stuck her. in this bitch. Okay. Uh, can I pick it up? That will be an action. That'll be a full action. To nah. grab it from the ground. Nah, I punch her. Um, I punch. Uh, yeah. You'd have to find it. Punch a ghost. It's happening. Yeah, it's a it, it's a whole. It's thing. gonna take whole, your turn. Whole issue. Uh, Punch it. 17. Da, 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 da. That's a hit. Cool. Uh, and then I am. Oh. No. That's it. I think I, I I think that's all I can do because I used the bonus action for Step of the Wind. And it can keep on going. So what's the damage on the punch? Not enough. Somehow, your fist connects with the banshee. <laughs> Aye! <laughs> Ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Probably nice. cut in half. Do your fists count as magic? Not yet. So I, uh, so I, I punch the banshee. Where? Uh, in the chest. Yeah. Just like in the sternum. Punch it right in the titty. And it goes, my, my fist goes partly in, but it also doesn't feel like I made enough of an impact, and I'm like, <sighs> and I look up at her, and she's doing what? She's gonna get back to you. <sighs> it's Alan is <laughs> That pause though. Don't look All up. right. <laughs> it's so much hang time. <laughs> uh, all right. Alan he quickly whips around, noticing the banshee out of his vision. He quickly moves Hunter's mark back over onto her. And then she, he sidesteps to his left a couple of steps so that he's out of the way of the monk. And it does in the way. It's over there. And then he's going to notch his first arrow and launch. Looses the arrow for 25. Hey. And then he quickly notches his second arrow for 17. Hit. And these are all plus one arrows? These are plus one arrows still. Oh! <laughs> he got it! Uh, plus eight, plus eight, one, two, three. 33 damage. She's still up. Dang. Damn. Damn. Can't take a risk. Fish looking hard good though, right? <laughs> She's a banshee. She always looks haggard. Uh, true that. True that. Is it true that I can use two spells if one is a cantrip and one is a bonus action? Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I hear all the commotion. I heard the scream behind me, I guess. Or do you not hear the scream unless you're in You make out a distinct noise, but it doesn't okay. affect you. Well, I turn around. I see what's going on. And uh, I... Do your best mental math. Uh, yeah, that's 25-ish. Uh, and I... I cast uh, Healing Word, Canada Crisp, on Senno. Sorry, for five hit points. Um, hey, that makes a huge difference. Word. Oh my god, that feels so much better. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Oh, crap. Welcome back, Get back friends. behind my barrels. <laughs> <laughs> We're still in it. And then I can I look toward the Banshee. I wiggle my fingers and say, Forge's fire. And I cast Sacred Flame on it. Dexterity saving throw. Natural 20. Oh. So that didn't mm-hmm. eh. You tried. They've yeah. been rolling like crap. They deserve it. I mean, <laughs> I'm not on their side. I'm totally on your team. <laughs> you side with the Banshee? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Son of a Banshee. Seno, you're up. Oh, it's the well, turn again. you're still down, but you're not dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, you know, since my hex is gone now, uh, I think I'm gonna do mm-hmm. some fire bolts. Are you gonna stand? Nah. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna crouch, so I still, um, I'm gonna get up, move around to the other side of the barrels, <laughs> crouch back down, <laughs> and then fire off a fire bolt. <laughs> Sure. It's a banshee. Do it. Yeah, I watched that. Oh. No. Good thing I got you back up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, may the percentile gods be good. Oh, Thank goodness. Sanguina, you're on deck. Sons of buns. Uh, Sons of 87. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, night. Sons of buns? <laughs> the Roll did you hit your head on the w- way down? A little bit. <laughs> I'm not a concussion, okay? Roll your D4. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, that's a four. <laughs> okay, so... So it knows. Unconscious again! You're <laughs> 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 like... I was using that right, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh the God. barrels in I'm front of you die. catch on fire as you attempt to blast them. And the heat, the fire comes back at you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you down? Yeah. Wait, yeah. did it do more than four? Six hit points. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I only have five. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry I didn't roll higher. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry I didn't roll higher. <laughs> you I say would say I if I was <laughs> conscious. <laughs> Look, we all do things that we... Wish we could take back. <laughs> you think to yourself as you watch Senna fall again, <laughs> and a barrel next to him is still on fire. Gonna have a real headache tomorrow. <laughs> Sanguina, you watch Senna fall. There's a barrel on fire right next to him. That is not good positioning for him. You maybe think to yourself if you care. I giggle to myself slightly. I'm sure that he'll be able to get out of the way at some point when he wakes up. <laughs> Anyways, I dash my full 35 feet towards Aaron. So I'm standing beside her. You move. I move 35 feet. You do not make it all the way. That's as far as I get. If you do not take additional. I guess I'll try to use my short bow. Use your short bow! Do I use a short bow? Do it. You're gonna move this way so you have a better angle with your short bow. Mm-hmm. Are these arrows magical? Absolutely not. Well, that's okay. They still do damage. Excellent. Can I do my sneak attack? Yeah. Yes. I'm doing my fucking sneak attack. <laughs> She's engaged with a fist in her chest. She's <laughs> <laughs> <was> like, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's dope. Oh, but whatever. 
Yeah, good. 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 Yeah
flurry. Okay. Uh, and so that was three attacks, two hit, and I'm going to attack one more time. Punching. Machine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two hits and uh, 14 on that my last hit. Okay. So, so I've hit three of the four times. <laughs> so I know the way your mini is, you look like you're break dancing. <laughs> he's break dance fighting. Yeah, he's like. Uh, 16 points of damage. Nice. Halved. Halved. Okay. Got it. Alany. All right. I, uh, it's a notch. Another, yeah, another plus one arrow. Oh, 16. Hit. 16 again. Hit. So that's yeah. good. Um, and I'm going to rip it. Uh... <laughs> what you want? <laughs> I think he's ripped the face. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that tracks. That tracks. Yeah. I heard it. I heard it. Uh, no. Thorn. 18. I hit 19. It's all of it together. With? These magical arrows <gasps> fly through the air, just between the paladin and the monk. Connect with the spectral image of this undead, terrifying elf, Banshee. She screams as they hit her. What's the last thing that she sees before she dies? She looks down at the fist in her chest. <laughs> Looks up at Elendam and looks over to me just as an arrow blows through her face. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just gone. The last oh. bits of her filter around. Little bits of the slime of her. Ectoplasm. Splashing all over you. <laughs> she explodes. Oh, oh. Well, you're so <laughs> courageous. I, I am good at that particular move. You really are. It's <laughs> so fancy. Paladin flat? I say I'm quite impressed. <laughs> are we, are we out of combat? You are out of combat. Okay. However, there is an unconscious warlock. Yeah. I'm on yeah. my way, so um, no. Take oh, him away from the oh, fire. Yeah, okay. Um, everyone pick up your stuff. Yes. Yes, and you pick up my, my arrows. Spears, all that stuff. I'd like to pick uh, up my javelins. Kaleva. What, what, do you still need more help, or <laughs> did we just help? <laughs> Can <I> not? <laughs> she turns to you all. Thank you so much for your help, Kaleva. Oh, that's really honest. That's a pretty uh, presumptuous thing to say. Oh, I'm truly, I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for warning us. She turns to you. They're saying that no one died. They're saying that this attack was caused by the Green Mother. What, the Banshees? That's what I said. It's not possible. Yeah, it seems kind of Someone else here in town came to me and they told me that they saw someone, a small figure in a dark cape, dump out a giant bag of earth on the ground and from that steaming mist, the banshees arose, and I know that there are at least a few children of the seed who fell. Yeah, there's one right over there. That's so sad. Yeah. Give a proper burial, please. Speaking of burials, Seno, what's your maximum, maximum HP? What's my maximum HP? 47. 47, okay, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna give his face a little All right, magic man, and then I'm gonna stick that right on it. Forehead, little gold noodle star, and you find yourself at full hit points with my lay on hands. Oh, that does full hit points? Full hit points? Full? Any number. I can choose any. Oh, wait, no, I can no, only do up to 25. Have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, get, 47? Get How do you have so much? I forget that I have such low health. <laughs> so like, damn, you powerful. Rage. So 25. It, I can do it eventually, but not right now. Are you doing the full 25? Yeah. There you go. If I'm using it, it's for the once per long rest. So yeah, yeah. we do this. And we we're going to need to do that too. Yes. So, Kaleva, this masked figure, this hooded figure that was running around here, long, just leaving benches around, 
Bags of banshees. Bags of banshees. I mean, <laughs> the fact that it was a bag of dirt is a little suspicious of the whole Green Mother thing. No, mate. But no. if you see my father, that's why he's spreading this rumor. I just don't think that it's possible. It doesn't seem to be the way that she acts. I think if she was going to hurt people, she would show herself. Yeah. But she has a dick. I agree. I agree, I agree with you. With you. Yeah, she took on like what, 12 dudes by herself? Yes, why would she use yeah. this? Yeah. This is clearly a ploy to either distract or to hurt people. Where were the bag where was the bag dropped? Not too far from here. I think we need to check that spot out. Agreed. Yeah, but were we drawn in here? Like Yes, I think I mean the were. carriage at the end of the yeah. alley that would we, indicate so. It feels a little just how to talk with It is name. possible that someone doesn't want you here. Yeah, this was timed out a little suspiciously. It happened as soon as we were leaving. I tried to get airport. as many people out of the way as possible, and I've been shepherding them towards the council palace to uh, keep people safe. What were you doing right before this? I admit that I was talking to guards at the palace, even though I'm not supposed to be there, and I'm supposed to be in fancy dress and parading around and meeting all the nobles. I'd like to roll to see if she's lying. And with my ring of truth telling, Meanwhile, Senor has been rummaging around in his cloak, pulling out his thing, he's making himself some tea and some brandy because he needs it. Don't say anything. Uh, and he's having a good drink, and what's going on? He's like, What do you know about the circus? I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it other than that it is run by some shit people who hurt people. And nobles pay money to see it happen. Uh, I rolled a 15 on the first thing to see if she's lying, and I'm gonna see if she's lying again. <laughs> Would it be that 20? Yo. You look into her eyes, deep into her soul. She never lies. Hmm. Do you know uh, if the circus has been around recently? Like in town? No. Last week I would hear of them. They're awful. No one would. No one in Elyrin who would pay money to watch people hurt each other. Not and if we told you your dad might, would that surprise you? Yeah. I'm being you completely dad. honest. Yeah, yeah, please do. It would not surprise me. But... You want some, we got some evidence? We've got some evidence. Well, we don't really have <laughs> evidence. Well, we've got this. Maybe you've seen one of these before. Hold on. <laughs> See this collar? I hear this is what was holding the Green Mother, one of these. We took out the circus. Yeah, just three days ago. Yeah, like three, three days ago, which seems to have been the time. And you were doing the work of the gods. Oh, I, that is very true. Um, <laughs> long story, we'll get to it if we have time. Pressing matters. Uh, I agree, <laughs> as I cannot stay for too long, people will begin to suspect where okay. we're gone. But I... Question. I don't know where the... Have you seen any Shit. of these? at home or in your father's possession <laughs> because apparently I have absolutely never seen one before. One oh. of these necklaces? I, well, okay. I've seen them on the Green Mother. Yeah. And then it mysteriously stopped working, right? It did. Well, that apparently was supplied by your dad. And we smashed one of these a while back and all the ones that all, all the creatures that were in captivity at the circus all stopped working about the same time that Green Mother got out. And what can you tell me about this rose? Oh, yeah. Just a second. I just need a moment. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is... Mints are dead. <laughs> pretty heavy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... This isn't exactly the best news. I understand that. I understand. Did flap? No, thank you. Um, <laughs> the wild rose is lovely. Um... It's my tabard! <laughs> and we are I have so... to go. I will... I'm not sure that I will be brave enough tonight to confront my father, but I will take this all to heart. And I am very glad that you are all alive, following whatever happened here. And I will continue to investigate where I can and the help that I can give. Um, might we make one recommendation? I've got another one. Go. No, confront your father. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Not I wouldn't do it right away, but instead, perhaps at home later, Search the house. See if you find anything that would then prove to yourself the truth that we are telling you. Like I will absolutely do that. However many. I will investigate tonight, and I will return where you are staying at the B, 
Uh, yeah, we got, we, we got yes. business with the bee. We'll probably stay there. I'll meet Jumping you there in the morning. First. I'll meet you there in the morning. I will try to find out whatever clues that I can. She puts her hand up to her face. There's just, excuse me, it's, it's quite embarrassing. Has that happened before? Is that blood? Yeah, there's blood just pouring out of her nose. Oh, she tries to... We need to get you to a, a physical. How long has this been going um, on for? I'll take care of this myself at home. No, 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 no. I'm the leaving. children of the seed. It's embarrassing. Have you been drinking from excuse the well me. in the corners? Of course. Whenever uh, I am there, the well the other people. people. <laughs> excuse me. She runs. Oh, crap. We gotta go, we gotta go after her. She's gonna go down. She's our like, only ally. That's not, She's not going to go down. going to die instantly. No, they've laid from their orifices for quite some time. Crap. You watch as she, as she moves at a reasonably quick pace as she continues to go, and she pulls a hood up and blends away into the shadows. Sano, uh, I need you to look at something. Uh, okay. Brooke, yeah. those red rocks, do we still have that? Oh, yeah. Crap. Do you recognize this? Does anyone recognize this? Well, he's this was what we found in the well. Rummaging, can I... Take like a little barrel, or like, is there anything sort of even yeah. remotely cuppy nearby yeah, for this yeah. bloody plant? You you see that there are a bunch of small things around. If you wanted to, you could bust someone's crate or barrel or thing that you find around. <coughs> I smash the crate. <laughs> see, you lick a rock. That's how you, you can, do that. You can put together a little yeah. piece of thing that you can stuff this plant. It's in. This thing people know about. <laughs> uh, what do I roll to see what I can tell about the uh, red rocks and? Roll, just roll an investigation. Okay. Oh my gosh. Eleven. Uh, it tastes like rock. Is there anything else that you want? Do you have a history element that you want to incorporate? I mean, do I recognize it from any ruins or anything I've been in? You've as... never seen this color rock before. Oh. Yeah, it was really strange in that well. The, uh, I, yeah. I don't recognize the kind of metal that was in there. There was this red rock was behind the stonework. I have plans. I think that it's time for us to go and see if we can find any of our little children. I'm hoping they're going to find us. That might be expensive. They've been away for quite I'll let some you guys time. handle that. Um, I need to talk to a It's man night. It's late. Bar. You're hungry. Yeah. You know someone might meet you at the bee tonight. Also, Kaleva might come back to the bee. You need to meet Zup. I'm fucking tired. I got a motherfucker of a headache. <laughs> Yeah, you took quite the hit to the head. Oh, a couple wait. times. A couple times. Just in case. Those uh, shots from earlier are wearing off, and they I. Uh, they are. Yes. And I, I need a top up, and I could do it with the nightcap. I think. Uh. All right, then I guess we're heading back to the bee. I'm going to go to the bee. Yeah, I pick up my sp- be- spear from the other end of the street. Smart. Collect any arrows. Javelin. On the way to the bee, we should try and find this pile of dirt and take a look. Well, that might be in this alley. I mean, this is where the banshees were. Can we close. investigate the alley before we go? You can do a quick investigation through the alley. Sure. Yeah, I want to look for some running around. 17. Dirt piles. Good number. Natural 20. Oh, oh. Seno sees the fuck out of everything. <laughs> I see everything. There is a large burlap sack not too far from the corpse that is still laying in the street. Oh. With closed eyes now. Call me over. <laughs> oh yeah! Hey, we got a fresh corpse! <laughs> What's that? We got a fresh corpse over here. You can uh, oh, maybe do bring we it really back. Have to do, oh. This? Oh, do we get to talk to it? Please don't do it. Please. No, we don't Paladin get to talk does to not it. Quite like. You. Paladin really uh, does yeah, not like. Yeah, if it doesn't come back all chatty, I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, it's going to be awkward with the city with a goddamn corpse, mate. Yeah, we're gonna go to the lazy bee. They're not well, gonna let really you bring it inside. It. What race yeah, is it? Yeah, if we no. can't question it, then I don't know. <gasps> so this might worse. draw on one of the yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure there'll be more corpses for you to raise later. Just leave it alone, Rick. You know, corpses leave kind of the appear corpse around. Alone. I'll leave it alone too. It's human. Right. I don't want any human ears. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> While we're walking back to the bee. So there was a burlap sack yeah. and a big pile of dirt not too far from there. Okay. Anything else? about it, I just found the dirt. Any, oh. Anything interesting? Uh, it looks like a oh. giant pile of dirt. There's a bunch of leaves and twigs and... No markings on the sack. Nope. On the, uh, on the, this is the pile of do dirt. Do I recognize... Nature check on the leaves and twigs. Do I re... Never mind. 
<laughs> I go over to the, I'm, I'm there, uh, over the bag of dirt and the pile of dirt, all that stuff. I say, show me your secrets and uh, detect magic. Cast it, no ritual. If they were magic once before, they're not anymore. Hmm. I got nothing. B? B. Does, B. Any, does anybody have like good uh, nature? Because we got some leaves and twigs in here, and maybe they're from someone. Maybe I like give an idea where twigs. to come from. I don't, they but I mean, I'll give it a shot. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a go to. Why not? Yeah. Sure. Seto walks the leaves around to the entire party. We'll go around, and you can tell me your nature checks for uh, his uh, handful of plant Steaming detritus. Hair. Uh, Elendar. Natural 20. Oh! He's of the leaf. <laughs> <laughs> this is not from nearby. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Oh! I can't believe that joke. Oh no! Hey, it was okay. Oh god. What the fuck <laughs> okay. is going on? So, <clears throat> what you tell them is, these leaves are not from somewhere nearby. It is, this has been transported here, and it is not from... Is, Anywhere is, in Kaimind that you've seen. Is the earth from somewhere else also? It has a bit of a strange color to it. It's a bit clay. You haven't seen anything like this. What, in what, color, what color clay? It's a kind of a weird gray. Mm. This isn't from here. Mm. Whatever harbored these lost souls could have potentially been carried here from a different land or place. Mm. Mm. This, this is odd and magical, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound like the night mother's tactic. Green. The green mother's tactic. I gotcha. (laughs) That would indicate perhaps it could have been purchased, in which case someone would need a lot of money. Or it was no. brought by someone who was hired from another area. Right. Which would need no, another which would need a so lot of so coin so also. It smells What's like it? rich people. Uh, we should And as such head. you wanna do one thing else too before no, no, we go? Just as we're heading back to the bee. We're heading to the bee. And as we're heading back to the bee, Alan is just flipping a coin, a gold coin, up and down in his hand. The symbol we sent out to the children the first time. Just to let them know. They see us. We are ready for that information. So you hang back as the party continues on. Sure enough, out of the shadows, you see two and then three. Five more little kids are just following you in a trail. Mm-hmm. You have a little uh, trail of munchkins, ankle biters, traveling behind you, and they're like, hey, filthy little scavengers. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey. What's the information? You want the coin? You need to give the information. A gold for everybody. A gold Only for everybody. if the information is worth it. And isn't repeated. We saw, we saw the person dump the bag out. And then there was this crazy thing. It screamed and killed people. Oh, it's so cool. Did you see the face of the person who no. dumped? It was what a short did you person. See? A short person. Taller than me. A tall person. Tall, taller than me. Taller than me? Than me. Slightly taller than you? I don't know what's slightly. <laughs> it was kiss. All right, was it as tall as I am? They're all looking at you. Some of them yell out, yes. Some of them yell out, no. Because they're children, that's why. Did this you see the helpful. markings on the robe? No, just black robe. Did you see where it ran to? To an alley. Did you follow him? No. Of course not. Okay. We went. We went to 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 the bakery where they gave out treats for the night. Oh, how lovely! It's gonna oh, be a big party tonight. The Could rest of us kept walking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The cloaked so, person. Did the cloaked person have a smell? Did they smell of anything? What? Did they have a smell? Did they smell? No. I, I noticed. I don't know. Did you notice any weapons? And then one of the little ones yells out, I saw some daggers. You saw some daggers. That's great. What did they look like? They look like daggers. Okay, that's 
good. Let's try to be more specific. Um, <laughs> the handle, did it have a color? I couldn't see. Of course. All oh, right. Well, at least we know it's going. We didn't see the green wire How many yet, daggers? Though. That's good information. We, we know that she's not out here. Yes, yes, we do know that. Um, did you see how many daggers? One yells out, I saw three. One yells out, I saw 23. <laughs> One yells out, I saw a hundred and million and three. <laughs> okay, this is good information. Um, Gold's for everyone. Is there anything else? We're going to go party. Right. It's party night, you guys. Everybody in town is going to be partying. Party, party, party. All right, children. I think it's about as much as we're going to get from you. That's fine. How many children? How many are there? How many of you are there? Here. Yes. Five, you just eight. 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 Yeah. That's fine. Gold piece for each. Yeah, right here. Uh, as soon as you flip a piece to them and they catch it, they are gone. <laughs> Jesus, fucking gone into the night, and you make your way the to the bee. Scavenger. Get my Everybody buzz on. Everybody goes in. Yeah. Get it. Oh. I, <laughs> I had so many more tree ones. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> you can go one more time. I Senol did not hear his joke. Oh. He likes a good Gonna joke. Gonna go to the lazy bee to get my buzz on. We we break for puns. Here we go. That's the end ever. Pun intended. Oh. All right. What is happening at the lazy bee? Is the party happening still? The party full of nobles. Is it still happening? Uh, how would you know? Well, I'm just. You just you you listen. I'm listening. Roll a perception check. Okay, sure. We should get our fancy on it. As you guys approach the bee, the That's bee is lit up. There's like music coming from inside. Everybody is inside. Having a good time. Oh, it's just a one. Oh. Oh. Just what it is. That's what that is over there. Is a one. Uh, you can't tell what's happening. No, of course not. But I'd love to see if anybody else could tell if they can hear a party still going. Well, we're outside the bee. The bee is having a huge party. Who goes inside first? Hey. Yeah, fuck it, I'm in. Let's just get this guy out of the way. Everybody can take a minis. Mini oh. mini. Mini mini. I shall call her. Sigrid, hold back for a second. It's my mini. Hold back. Before we step inside. I'm not going inside. I want to talk with you outside. Okay. Conversations to have with you outside. You guys are so cute. Outside. Guys, I opened one of the seed pods and I have <laughs> more seeds inside of it. Now it's just the seeds. All right. It's gonna make my mug smell better. <laughs> Cardamom and goat. Okay, quickly out, out. Well, <laughs> you guys are gonna. It's gonna be a long conversation. Because then we'll split into two groups. Okay. If it's gonna be quick, then we'll head back inside with both of you. So outside the bee. All right. That uh, person that left the bag of dirt behind. Absolutely. That sounded like another rogue to me with the daggers and stuff and a black cloak. Absolutely. Yeah, that sounds like your kind of people and the kind of people you might be able to find. Oh, absolutely. I just haven't really had much of a chance. If you want to go into the bee, I'll sniff around the outside of the bee to see if I can find anything. Any other markings, perhaps. All right, but if you're going to find a thieves' guild, don't go running off without us, all right? At least let me know so you're not alone. All right. All right. You do your looking. I'm going to head inside and let the others know. Fair enough, that's fine. You head inside as a group, minus the rogue. Inside the bee, if you haven't been here before. It is a super cute tavern. It's not as busy as you might have expected from the volume of noise. There's a bard playing. There's a stomping kind of noise and a bunch of the people who are in there. Six to 10, as Toivo, the bartender, who some of you recognize, is running around, giving out drinks, getting everybody ready. You don't see Aurora at the bar last time you came. But as you get farther in, the hearth is going, the warm air is hitting you, the spicy smells of stews and ales and oh. drink. And then as the crowd parts, you see that some of the noise is coming from a swish of skirts and the stomp of her heels as on a table, Aurora is dancing. She's wearing a long dress with frilly skirts and she stomps and moves and the skirts flip into the air. Her black hair flips with the teal tips, the curls flashing, and she stomps and she swishes her skirts. Everything flies around, her movements are so fast and the stomps, rhythmic. 
in time with the bard. She looks up, even though her hands and her skirts are moving so fast that you can barely see her hands. She sees you and she flashes each of you a smile. What color is she wearing? She is wearing all sorts of purples and greens. I say flippity gibbets and make her eyes match her. <gasps> and as she continues to dance, she sees the door from her. And she gives you a wink. And then, hello. Sorry. <laughs> One final stomp and she smashes it down. And her dress comes to the complete rest around her. And the crowd cheers. Here, here. I am uncomfortable. But in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I Let know what to you Sheathe your spear there, Tibbs. Go get a drink. <laughs> Toivo is already coming up to you. And as he runs over to you, he's like, friends, you're back, you're back. Oh my gosh, Zev was here earlier. He says he's going to come. And um, he's put all of your stay and everything on a tab. Oh. Yeah! Oh, great. So I will keep nice. drinks coming to you all night. A uh, round of whatever's cooking smells amazing. And uh, yeah, drinks, uh, And great. I pint of your hobbyist ale. He's already got an ale for you, like when you'd arrived oh. earlier. Yeah, brandy. brandy. Yeah, I'll take the he brandy. He remembers you, so many brandies for you all. I will have a water. You uh, tried this? A little bit of a... Yeah, really good. I've never, never, I don't, I've never, I mean, I've Come on! Seen, I've never, uh, Oh, come on. We've been through some but, stuff together. This is how we create Dear bonds, pressure. my man. This yeah. is how we do that. Yeah. I hand one of oh, my brandies over alcohol? because I assume Toivo Crazy. came over to me with two brandies. Yeah, he knows me. Yeah. Oh, he sure. definitely did. He's got um, a whole, so many brandies. Uh, Bot I, bottoms up, my friend. Up, my bottom staying right where it's at. Yeah, the bottom <laughs> of the cup For now. goes up, yeah. and the top is a cup goes at your mouth, and then all the see, and I yeah. do my shot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. To new companions. Cheers. For now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, sorry, that's mm. really bad. <laughs> it smells like goat. I I take my cup and I drink it back. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Oh, I am strong enough for this. Mm -hmm. Getting flashbacks. Uh, yeah, done. No, you look good back there. Uh, all right, everybody. Just so you know, I've got Sanguine outside taking a look around for some sort of thieves' cant or something else. The okay. children came back. Oh, God. They, well, yeah, no, they <laughs> saw something. Do you have any money left? Yes, I've got money. I've got lots of money. It's oh, fine. Right, it's, right. That's not the problem. <laughs> the thing of it is, is that they, they came back and they had seen a little bit of the person who dropped the dirt and released the banshees. What did, it, what did it look like? They couldn't tell much but black cokes and daggers. Oh. Which sounded like a thief or a rogue to me. I mean, that makes sense. I would, honestly, when Kaleva walked away and put her hood up, I was a little suspicious, but... I mean, maybe, but... She could be throwing Sanguina us will off find something. She's gonna come in here and let us know if she sees something nearby, and perhaps we can find the Thieves' Guild and get some information. All right, in the meantime, Dinner's coming. That sounds great. Yeah. Uh, is and it? what do you want to? What do you want to order, guys? Oh, as what do you got? Aurora comes over to you. Oh, hi. She's oh, uh, glistening. There, some of her curls are still plastered to her long, slender neck. Her dress, tight frills, what? wisping in the wind as she takes confident steps towards you. What are you having? Uh, what what kind of dance smell? was that earlier? I haven't seen that one before. I think she has to smoke food, mate. I don't care. All right. We've got a bear sandwich on the menu. Ooh. Bear Beet sandwich. Root ramen. Rabbit pie. I'll take some of that rabbit pie. Yeah. Hands down, bear sandwich. Thank you. Rabbit pie sounds pretty I'm good. I'm sorry. Did you say beetroot? Ramen. Yes. Noodles. Yes, I will. I will eat that. I will have that. There is no animal in it. It is a no animal dish. We don't eat. I eat. I like Something your hair. Something for everyone at the bee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like a rabbit pie, please. And another brandy. Coming up, friends. Does, should we get something for, no. Nope. Sanguine, uh, yeah. I that, am her food. Did that, uh, <laughs> you should did eat that, more. uh, yes. brandy affect my charisma at all? <laughs> it's his first. It's not my very first. Not at the level, whatever. you're not currently intoxicated. Okay. Let me check your constitution. Uh, you're fine. Okay, cool. It burns. Cool. But seeing that you're all up for a little bit of a party tonight, I hope you'll join us all. 
Yeah. As we I mean, celebrate a soon-to-be wedding here in the town of Elyrin. Yeah, who's getting married? Yeah, we don't know that. It's do we? the Berkdel Vernal. Yeah. Berkdel. Yes. No, the the son of Harl. Yeah. To whom? To whom? Oh gosh. Mm. His first name is Dallin, but I cannot recall. Oh, his last name is a mouthful. Don't remember. Dallin. Okay. He is from. Jaris, I think? He's a very wealthy merchant. Wait, sorry, did you say Berkdale was a son? Berkdale's the son of Harl Vernal. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> His right. sister calls him Burke. Maybe you've heard him call, heard him call that. Right, yeah, maybe. Um, Burke. 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 Sorry, you said yeah. Dallin? <laughs> Dallin. Where is he from? I think he's from Jaris. Jaris. Did I hear your boss say that uh, Zap was here earlier? Yes. Started a tab for you all. I need to. I need to speak with Zup, uh, but first I will have two more of these. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and good man, I yes. hope that all of you will take me on in the bees drinking uh, game. Oh, done. Always. Uh, we call it Bumble Cups. <laughs> sure. And we're gonna find out how to play. Next time. Oh, oh, yes. Bumble Cups. Fair sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll find yeah. out what you're doing next time on the streets, oh, in yeah. the dark, in the shadow. All right. All right. All right. We're not running off and killing people. Good job, you guys. Bumble Cups. Yes. We What's didn't get to play Bumble these... Cups. Damn oh, it. We had it ready. Oh. There's shot glasses here. Oh, oh. 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 Bumble Cups. I want to play Bumble Cups. <laughs> that would make it interesting. That sounds really fun. It's like, should I play Bumble Cups and say just turns the cameras off? <laughs> uh. Yeah.